Hey, I'm Joe from PBS Digital Studios. It's okay to be smart. And I'm Meredith from Amy Poehler Smart Girls. Studies show that one of the biggest reasons women fail to pursue science is they don't see enough role models that they relate to. If we want to break the stereotype, young women need more female science role models. So we teamed up with Amy Poehler's Smart Girls to ask you who your women in science heroes were to shine a light on these awesome women of science. Here's what you told us. My woman science hero is Susan Perkins, who's a curator at the American Museum of Natural History. She was my mentor when I was first starting out. She showed me that scientists can and should have a ton of fun, and she also crystallized my lifelong love of parasites and all things gross. For me, the most inspirational woman in science was actually my high school physics teacher, Kathy. She always had some crazy experiment going on in her classroom. She was really the first person that got me interested in physics. So my most inspiring female scientist is actually my mom. She's a dentist and an entrepreneur. My STEM woman is Haley Gillespie. She's a scientist, she has her PhD in ecology, and she founded an art gallery in Austin, Texas called Art Science Gallery, and it appropriately features science-inspired art. The most inspiring female scientist to me growing up was the fictional character Miss Frizzle because take chances, make mistakes, get messy was probably the best mantra ever. And a science woman who I admire is Corey Moreau, who is a curator of insects here at the Field Museum, but also because she's a founding member of our Field Museum Women in Science group and has done a lot to promote the work of minority and women scientists all over the world. One of my favorite scientists is an Italian neuroscientist. Her name's Rita Levi Montalcini. Later in her research, she discovered something called the nerve growth factor. And for this, she won a Nobel Prize in medicine. My favorite female scientist is Dr. Jane Goodall because she single-handedly revolutionized the field of primate research. Dr. Elizabeth Ellie, Judy Taylor, Dottie Metcalf Lindenberg, Maya Bialik, Emily Grassley, Elizabeth McLaren, Margaret Chan, Dr. Sarah Ballard, Madame Curie, Emily Grassley, Janet Bryant, Dr. Lisa Meitner. Hey Ellie. What? Do you love science? Yeah. Who inspires you to do science? My mom, because she's a park ranger. And this is my hashtag science woman, Mary Anning. It was Mary Anning's discoveries that provided evidence that was central to the development of the way we thought about the history of the earth. And my science hero is Cecilia Payne. Despite living in a time when women were not encouraged to pursue science, Payne carved out her own career in astrophysics and discovered what stars are made of. Marie Curie, obviously, some huge milestones. She's the first woman to win a Nobel Prize and the only woman to win two Nobel Prizes. Quirky, encouraging, incredibly inspiring, and slightly crazy. This is Miss Mower, my high school teacher. She's my favorite woman in science. One of my female science heroes is Elizabeth Blackburn, who shared the 2009 Nobel Prize in Medicine for her work on telomerase. Lisa Meitner is by far my favorite physicist of any gender because she unlocked the mysteries of the atom. My inspirational science woman is my big sister Lydia, or to give her her proper title, Dr. Lydia LePage. So my sister has already been using MRI in new ways to study diabetes and now she's gone on to do a similar thing with heart attacks. And my favorite woman in science is Dr. Elizabeth Blackwell. She was the first female doctor to be registered in the United States. She harassed people until they let her into medical school, then she harassed people until she graduated, and then she harassed people until they let her practice as a doctor. She went on to become an amazing doctor and paved the way for women to be doctors today. My science woman hero is Hedy Lamarr, and when she wasn't breaking men's hearts on screen, her passion was science. And in 1942, she invented something called the frequency hopping. And that invention turned out to be the fundamental technology behind all the wireless forms of communication that we know today. Your cell phone, your Wi-Fi, your Bluetooth, GPS, it all goes back to Hetty. Some guts and brains, you can change the world. Go, smart girls. Stay curious. Hey, everybody. Thank you so much for the videos you sent in for this project. I am humbled and inspired and just blown away. We received way too many submissions to include in this video, but if you click around my head here or check down in the description, you'll find a link to a playlist where we've included all of them in full. Please check them out. They are amazing and so are you.
Now this video is also part of a collaboration with a bunch of great channels all about gender roles. So at the end of the video, you'll see links to all of their videos. Check them all out, they're great. Once again, thanks to you, thanks to Amy Polar Smart Girls, and stay curious.